hi guys welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be showing you how I achieved this look here it's just a light fall look or for Thanksgiving whatever you have in mind so yeah let's jump right into it first I start off with my eyes just because if I get any fallout I don't want it to get on my concealer or my foundation so I'm going to apply the MAC 24 hour extend eye base all over the eyelid Here I am using the Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Powder to set that primer on the eyes. Now I use a very small eyeshadow brush to outline the underneath of the eyebrow with the MAC Individual Eyeshadow Shade Nylon. Eyeshadow, I start with my biggest blending brush and I use the shade Sweetheart in the Tartlet in Bloom palette and I just go all over the tops of the eyelid. Once you have that shade all blended out, I then take a crease brush and define the crease with the shade Rebel in the same palette. After that, you're just going to want to take this same blending brush you used before and blend it all out and make sure there's no harsh lines. Now I jump into a different palette. I'm using the Naked palette by Urban Decay, the Cherry palette, and I'm using the shade Privacy. And I just go outside of the eyelid a little bit. I don't want to go too far in since I am going to be cutting that inner crease. Here I take the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and a small concealer brush and I'm going to carve out the crease. I just carve it on my natural crease. Um, if you don't really have a defined crease, you can always just create a crease on your own. And I only go halfway through the lid. I don't go all the way. Um, I just decided to only do a half crease here. You can always do a full crease if you want. Here I am using that same Laura Mercier powder just to set that concealer on the eyelids and then I go back in with that blending brush after I'm finished setting and I just blend it all out because that concealer can create a harsh line. Thank you. 
Now I'm going back into the Tartlet in Bloom palette and I'm just going to go over that concealer with the shade Flower Child. Now it's time for the hardest part, which is the winged eyeliner. I'm going to use my favorite, which is the NYX Matte Liquid Eyeliner. It just goes on really smoothly and allows you to create the perfect wing. Unfortunately, I didn't get this very well on camera, so I am going to fast forward through it, but if you guys want a separate video on winged eyeliner, I am more than happy to do that. Just let me know in the comments down below. Now it's time for eyelashes. I decided not to use falsies for this makeup look just because I really don't like falsies that much on myself, but you're more than welcome to if you would like. I just went in and curled my lashes and then I'm going to use the Perversion Mascara by Urban Decay. Okay, now it's time for face makeup. I'm going to use my favorite primer, which is the Benefit Professional, and I just rub that all over my face, and I let it sit for a few minutes to soak it in before I use my foundation. So I'll just go on my phone or Instagram or whatever for a couple minutes to let it sit. foundation I'm using the Giorgio Armani luminous silk foundation and I just use two pumps because it's very full coverage and you don't need that much and then I just put random dots all over my face and I use the morphe beauty sponge to um, blend it all out I'm going to go back in with that same shape tape concealer that I used on the eyelids and just put it under the eyes, on the forehead, and on the bridge of my nose, as well as on my chin, and then I just blend that out with the beauty blender as well. To set my face, I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Powder that I used on the eyelids, and I just put it under my eyes and um, basically in all the areas I put the concealer.
next for my eyebrows I just spoolie them out really quick and make sure they are the shape that I want them to be and then I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pencil and I just create hair like strokes throughout the eyebrow really wherever there's any empty space After I use the brow pencil, I use Benefit Gimme Brow in the shade 3. It's just a brow gel to make sure all the hairs are in place and everything is exactly how you want it to be. For the lower lash line, I'm using a Morphe eyeliner pencil. I'm not sure of the exact shade. I know it's like a purpley shade. I will find it on their website and I'll link it in the description box below. To complete the lower lash line, I use a small eyeliner angled brush and I just go underneath with all three of the shades I used on the eyelid and I line it underneath and then I take the other side of this brush because it is double sided and I use the lighter shade from the inner corner and line the inner corner. So I basically just match the top to the bottom. For my inner corners, I use the same MAC shade that I used underneath the brow to just highlight the inner corner with a very small eyeshadow brush. To bake, I'm just going to use the same Laura Mercier powder and a beauty sponge and I only bake underneath my eyes and the only reason I bake is because my Mascara likes to leak underneath my eyes and for some reason if I bake it won't leak underneath For my lower lashes, I'm using the Maybelline Rocket Volume Express mascara Again to prevent the leaking underneath my eyes. This is the only mascara I found that won't leak underneath For contour, I'm going to be using the Kat Von D shade and light palette I just take the middle shade with an angled contour brush. I go on the cheeks and on the forehead. Right on top of my contour, I take my Too Faced Chocolate Bronzer and I go right on top with a different angled brush. This one gives more of a sloppy look, which I love for bronzer, just to make it all blend and flow very nicely. For blush, I'm taking the MAC blush in the shade Melba. I go on the cheekbones and blend it back into my contour on both sides.
after blush, go ahead and wipe away that bake. And to finish off the look, I use highlighter. I'm using the MAC highlighter in the shade Soft and Gentle. I completed the look with a lipstick. I used the Kylie Lip Kit in the shade Candy K. And here is the finished makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe.